Seven West of Sonoma build. Got the back end pretty much buttoned up. It's ready for body work. Probably gonna throw some primer on that thing so it doesn't start to rust before you get to the body shop. Now with the back end buttoned up, we're gonna start on the front end of this truck. The truck came in with an updated front end. It's about a 99 or so S10 front end. I just wanted to go with an OBS front bumper, so that'd be like an 88 to 98 Chevy full size front bumper. Now the bumper is quite a bit wider than the front end of the truck. So it's gonna have to be narrowed. Once it starts coming together, we might do some other things. All right, here's what we're starting with. Got the center line of the bumper marked. It's got a little bit of a beak to it. So I took a lot of measurements in order to get this mark established. Everything's gonna lay out off of this. Kind of got that eyeballed to the center spear on the grill right here. This is the passenger side. Kind of illustrates a couple of the issues we got going on. For one, the bumper's way too long. You have to section the bumper, find a good spot here, cut it, narrow it, without ruining the curve of the bumper. Now, as much as I'd like to go cutting stuff, I had to check a couple things. First, I checked the overhang on the bumper on either side and realized that it was shifted. So I wanted to check the frame. Checking this bolt on the core support, I realized that the whole cab is a little bit crooked on the frame. The cab has actually slipped a quarter inch to the passenger side. All right, here's the situation with the bumper. As you can see, it's got some decent twist to it. Right now, the driver's side is bent down. Took some measurements. Made sure that was the case. Now I'm going to try to get the twist out of this bumper. Oh, that's definitely better. I might come up here and try taking some twist out of this spot. that odyssey of trying to straighten this bumper out got to lay down on this piece of plate mark the center line on the plate lined up the beak of the bumper to that center line and on either side i took a couple of the bolt holes made a one inch line all the way across the back of this square edge got it all lined up all right that's what the front side looks like got that center line i marked on the beak of the bumper here's the center line of the plate so what i then did is i laid a square up against the bumper here measured down made a mark Came in square off the edges, made another straight line so I could measure to see where this edge lines up side to side in this old jig I've got set up. Considering this bumper is all twisted up, it's close enough. From here, I'm going to make templates of both sides, coming off the center mark and wrapping around the edge so that as I cut this bumper and narrow it, I can keep using that template to make sure that this curve is maintained all the way around. I don't want that curve to have a big bump in it this way or a flat spot or something like that. I want to maintain that shape as best I can. Now it's time to make a template of this thing. Let's see what we got. Now it's time to get started cutting. I want to save this beak right here. Up to about this point, it lines up pretty well with the grill and the headlights. So I measure it out and I come back five inches, make a new mark, and I'll lay this out, whack that thing off, get over the truck, and get started figuring out a way to mount this thing. Thinking. You know how to put this back together? 
All right, so fast forward a little bit. I got this side up, tacked in place, clamped in place. It's having a lot of trouble with the grill and the headlights. Nothing straight on this thing. Everything shifted this way. I'm gonna use the top of the hood here as something I can measure off of. The gaps to the fenders fit pretty well. So this is something I can rely on. Got the passenger side tacked up. I'm working on the driver's side now. All right, I've got the passenger side of the bumper cut free. Probably saw that before. Try to take some of the bend out of this, some of them a bitch, but it's still fighting me. Got some of the shape of this thing cut out. Some of these flanges cut off. So I can just slide this right over the center portion of the bumper and mock up this edge so it lines up with the fender. Get an idea how this thing's gonna fit. It's still got some twist in it. I may take this over the bench and pull some twist out of it. Because right now this edge is running downhill pretty sharp. What I really want to do is be able to get on the back side, scribe the e-coat on the inside of this bumper so I can make myself a cut line. See if we can't get some of the bend out of this thing now. Got this thing clamped down with a big ass piece of steel, a couple of clamps. Hopefully I can make this thing see my way. Uh. <clears throat> Hell, I don't know. Things are moving all over the place. Let's take it over the truck, see if it made any difference. All right, let's get this thing up in place, get it scribed so I can cut it down. Like we talked about, I kind of trimmed it over here. So I can just hang this on here and take a scribe of the back side of it. There we go. Got a nice line there. Let's get this thing trimmed back. All right, just going to come in here with the death wheel, give this thing a nice little curse slice. About a quarter inch on that side of that mark. I'm going to leave this thing a little bit long. I can tune the shape and then just start cutting off a little bit to the outside edge ends up on, up against the fender right where I'm looking. Here we go. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, baby. All right, we lived through that. Here's a little tip for you. Cut off wheels don't really like to plunge all that much. So when you're cutting, you really want to come through the material this way if you can. It'll cut a lot faster, and it'll save your cutoff wheels. Just two cents. Well, I'll be kiss my ass. It actually worked. You can see back of this bumper it doesn't go all the way back to the end of the fender. Kind of knew that was going to be the case. I have to split this, move it back. Make a new hemmed edge on the back side and make it nice and clean. It's actually moving in the right direction though. All right, back at it today. Turned a major corner on this bumper yesterday. You're not Johnny Carson, are you? Managed to get both sides even. Got the other side tacked up. Things are looking good. Made a new template that goes around both sides so I can verify the shape of this thing was even all the way around. Also like to welcome a special guest, my hat. This boogie was hiding it from me, but she didn't hide it that good because I found it. Now that I have the shape of the bumper going in the right direction, time to start mounting this thing. These are the frame horns I was dealing with. Once I started to measure up off the hood here, realize that those are actually offset. This side sits a little bit higher than the passenger side does. So I've got a variety of shims stacked in here. Try to get the bumper running parallel with the hood. The sides of the bumper are going to run parallel to the fenders extend all the way out to the wheel well with about an eighth inch reveal on the bottom of them. That eighth inch reveal is what's going to actually dictate the height of this bumper. The bumper's sitting nice. Got that little reveal. As you can see there's no support right there. It's running parallel to the ground, so that's a good thing. All right, brace the sides of the bumper. You use the factory bumper brackets. They actually have a lot of slot in them. They come over and they're just like a half inch off of this OBS Chevy bumper. It's gonna work out great for me. Made a little template to slip up in there. Goes a little something like that. I can actually reach in from the top here and zip a zap a couple welds across there. I need to cut out two pieces of plate like this and drill a hole for the bolt that passes through the end right here. Pro-Am tip for you. 
you're building multiple brackets, build them together. Got these two pieces stacked up in my vise. I'm just going to drill the hole at the same time. Got the tab dressed up, bolted onto the bracket with a bolt that looks like it came out of the bottom of the ocean. Got the E-coat stripped off back here where the tab's going to land. I'm going to slip this baby in place, hopefully. See how this works. That's gonna work great. I'm gonna come in here from the top and weld this up. All right, time to get way down in there and tack that tab in place. Got a spacer on top of the bumper to hold this thing at just the right gap. The bumper to the fender. Like that held. Get a couple more in there. I think I can get one more. Smokey! Time to do the other side. Now we're going to pause here for a little while on Wes's truck. I'm going to get my truck, the boogie shop truck, back on the road, ready for the season. The motor's getting really nice. I've been feeding it to drive it. i got to admit, I was tripping about this bumper. It's actually turning out great. Get everything smooth, get all these transitions clean. It's made a huge difference in my attitude toward that bumper. So watch for the next video where I get my truck out of storage.